am homeless. But I have a dream. I want to go to space. Which strangely requires a mixer. But that is not stopping me from achieving my dream. Hello, I'm Faslin and this is Create Astro Part 2. Where I hopefully build a house and maybe, just maybe, something else. Come with me on this beautiful journey to space. Hello and welcome to Create Astro 2 where I pour my schizophrenia into a YouTube video. Last episode we started with Create. We have the Bunkinator here. The plan for this episode is to build a house for me and my wolf, who has sadly run away. But before I begin construction, I must actually find a place which can host my big ass factory. But most importantly, I first must acquire a permit from the mayor of this municipality. Yo, Mr. Mayor, am I allowed to pipe in your hood, G? Bro said yes. Okay, let me just pull my set now real quick so that I can see where my rancho would fit. Hmm, right here. Okay, this place seems fine. Seems really good. No, I didn't choose it because it already has a house. Shh, fuck you mean? I chose it because it's flat. And I like flat. Like my... I also want to make a farm because I'm tired of feeding these shit berries. FBI, open up! I really like the fact that the wall is freaking demolished. You bought just witness the murder here? What do we have here? Oh, there's a basement actually. Okay. Okay, we ball it. Let's make some chests so that I can move my shit over here. Do you go? My temporary camp has been set. Now it's time for me to collect some resources for the actual building that I'm going to make. And I'm also going to demolish these houses. I'm going to turn them down because these red bricks are a cool block to build with. I really like it. And I think it fits well with the style of Create, so I'm going to get as much bricks as I can. Find a little bit of steady as I get close. Find a balance in the middle of the chaos. Semi loud, semi high, semi other, demi guy. I remember walking in the cold of November, hoping that I make it to the end. Okay, so I have a natural border here. The plan is to build my house right over there on the rock so that I can dig down and access the mines and stuff. And my factory and creating is my contraptions are going to be over on this side. This episode is planned well enough. It's planned thoroughly. In fact, the whole series are planned. Here's the plan right here. Let's get back to work though. Okay, can I get this? No. Uh, yeah, my campfire looks great now. <laughs> looks better than before. Especially with that floating bed right there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to assure myself that no other unwanted guests are going to come again. Nice. Okay, let's collect some granite. Why granite? Because it's orange. That's the best explanation that I've ever given to something. Stop it. Get some help. Let me check out this cave. Okay, it has granite. It has yellow stuff. Urim? Mm, it's pretty deep, actually. That's what she said. No, it's not. Okay, let's get the stuff and get out of here because I don't have any hunger points. And if something hits me, I'm going to die. You expected me to sing every time, huh? Okay, so this is the block palette I'm going to go for, and I really hope that Grian doesn't kill me. I'm going to clear this side of the cliff so that I can have more space inside of my house. I'm going for a simple build because I really plan this to be my house and my house only, and all the create shenanigans should be outside of it. They should be there, but who knows what's going to happen. The future is always unknown. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah, and this mob pack also supports chipped blocks. I failed to mention that. You can put pretty much any material, and you can cut it into various kinds of blocks. Just a heads up if you're a builder. Mm, where do I want the entrance to be? Probably right here, but I also want an entrance right there, so... Okay, so I've laid down the foundations. This is going to be the main living area, where all my chests and items will reside. Under it, there's going to be a basement, which is going to be accessed by a tunnel that is going to be made right there. 
this thing something like a storage area and in the future it is going to host some kind of contraption that is going to unload trains since we have this track here we can we can make the best of it and yeah that's pretty much it enjoy the montage <laughs> Okay, so the exterior is pretty much done. These bricks were laid with such craftsmanship. If I had a bricklayer with such amazing skills, I would personally burn him at the stake. Anyway, I realized that I didn't have any glass. And since I do not have silk touch to borrow some of the paints of these houses, I actually have to go and get sand by myself. Ugh, manual labor. Hmm, carrots, nice. Yeah, and of course my shovel broke. Mm. Okay, now I have to smelt it. A few moments later. Thank you for actually smelting something. Actually, can I cut this? I can. Cool. And if I make paints, can I cut them too? No. Is there a recipe for something more interesting? Okay. Um, so I can create these various types of glass panes, but I actually have to make the glass blowers workbench, which is crafting table, a blast furnace. Yeah, I can actually do that. And bang. Oh, <clears throat> and it has a nice model too. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Ooh. <coughs> There's so much glass panes. Oh, I can't really decide. I cannot. Okay, so we have an orange looking house. Uh, can we go for the orange looking paints? Should they be paints or should they be iron bars? No, they should be paints. That's not a prison yet. Eh, looks good enough. What? Oh, really? Those walls don't connect to... Oh, that ruins my plans a little bit. Can I make glass walls? No, I don't think I can. Okay, that's a little bit of a setback. Okay, let me make some orange paints. Because you know that if you break them with your bare hand, yeah, they drop. So let's see how ugly that's going to look like. <laughs> it's like Serbian grill, man. <laughs> it looks like as if somebody's going to <laughs> grill some steaks behind that. That's not going to stop us, though. We want windows. We're going to have windows. <laughs> <laughs> totally doesn't look like a serial killer house. Why did I make so much pains? Okay, I'm having intrusive thoughts right now. Okay, did not break. Can I get my bullets back? <laughs> my bullets back very realistic so we have an exterior we don't have a roof yet we're going to do that eventually okay let's get to digging but the other boy make a big nice plane in the street gonna be a big man someday you get mud on your face big disgrace kicking your can all over the place this is going to be a storage area so i'm going to leave it for now and i could just make the floor out of planks but i wonder uh, since we have this kind of glass blowing station can we actually make what is this thing called it's a workbench uh botanist glass bow carpenter carpenter sounds like a wood cutting guy okay, so we need one iron and crafting table and flint okay i think i can do this and of course the only thing that i'm missing is that damn flint don't even have gravel man <sighs> gravel yes okay yeah flint okay um dump you i don't need you anymore so let's create a carpenter's workbench okay let's place it next to our glass blowers workbench splendid okay what can we actually do Ooh, that's a fair amount of planks. Mmm, this guy. Double herring bone spruce planks. Like, that's a name I'm going to remember. Let's see how they look like. Yeah, I can work with that. Marvelous. I almost feel like I'm in a carpentry. You know, they have this specific smell. Cut it wood. I've cut it timber. I've cut it woodworking material. I don't know how it's called, man. Okay, so I plan to have this very fabulous staircase, which starts here and goes up. 
to there and this one is going to go down to my non-existing basement Let's test it out if i want this to be here yes my head goes through nice plan on having a middle floor right here which is quite big but you know luxury is warming us okay might have a, a little problem here I really wanted my house to be like inside of the cliff. You see, I really wanted this to be the roof of my staircase. I do not want to destroy it. Okay, let's see if this is floor level and now our stair starts from here. Yeah. Okay, that works. Okay, so I have to cover this, not you, this. And this is actually going to be a wall so that we can do this. And I can put another wall here. Actually, I have to do it from the other side. Boom. Bam. And final touch. Nice. Oh, shit. Where the hell did you come from, man? He has a, <laughs> he has a rifle. <laughs> okay, let's clutch this guy. No scope, 360. Dumbass, you're messing with the wrong guy, mother. He actually has a rifle. <laughs> Look at that. Definitely gonna use that on some other guys. Okay, so where was I? I was trying to make some fancy stairs. But I have no idea if I actually can do it. Cool. Well, sadly, we cannot make chipped stairs. So let's make the most random staircase that we can. Yeah, cool and good. I should become an interior designer, man. <coughs> okay, I, I actually have to do the walls too. Okay, let's see. Can we make some fancy schmancy walls? Ooh, kinky. Let's go with this one. What do you mean my inventory is messy? You don't like it? Okay, you can complain to the Armenian priest if you want. How does this look like? Oh, you see, you see, the, the difference is that this has a lighter streak here. This doesn't. Yeah. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. This and this, and then the same from the other side, but reversed. That's the most beautiful wall I've ever seen, man. I think I'm going to cry. Yeah, I think the stairs turned out to be good, but we have a slight problem. <laughs> There's a giant asshole on the roof. And I wanted this to be natural. So, if I stand here and put... No, I can't actually go through. That means that the stairs have to go like this. And then we can put slabs. And it's dark again. A <laughs> brand new day. <sighs> okay, I have an itsy bitsy tiny whiny problem. And that is that I've run out of... Oh, no, I actually didn't. I was going to say that I run out of bricks. But yeah, three bricks seems totally enough to finish my staircase. I can scatter them around like this. Yeah, that's great. Man... Am I not the greatest builder of all time? Grian, you have to look for a new job, man. Because I'm taking over yours. And we even missed some stairs here. It's annoying you that the stairs are missing? Okay, let me fix that. Yeah. I'm not going to leave it like that, of course. I'm just messing with you. I'm going to do this. Cool. Oh, and you are annoyed by that dirt line over there. Well, I guess you just have to deal with it. And let's erect another wall here. Hmm. <laughs> Looks good enough to me. <laughs> Let's make it cozy, man. Let's make it feel like home. Let's get some of these. Craft some signs and some trapdoors. Where should I put my sofa? And yeah, maybe here. Bam, we have our sofa. Okay, I'm just messing with you. We can actually make furniture. And to make a sofa, we actually have to kill a uh, shear three sheep and make myself shears and go hunt um gathering. Yes. There they are. You guys took some time to find. I should actually bring them home sometime. I really do not want to run 150 meters just for some wool. And now we can make our sofas. Okay, let's put some armchairs. And I plan on having a fireplace here. So I'm going to put some more chairs. And we want to have a sofa here. We actually have to make a table now, so let's do this. Ba bam That's a long table. Okay, I can actually leave it like that. Yeah, that looks good. And I can put some of you here. Yes, that looks great. And can I make these pots? I can. Bam, bam, ba bam, ba bam. Hey, ha oh, you can actually put them on the balls. So let's put them like this. And why I'm having a feeling that this house is inside out. <laughs> these things should be on the outside. But instead of that, we have these abominations of windows. Greatest build of all time.
next can do this. Yeah. Let's put some flowers in them. Mmm, a dandelion, the last one in the season. Mmm, a poppy, the first one for the season. Mmm, onion flower, wasn't even in the season. Okay, let's make the fireplace. I need another of these workbenches. See the mason's workbench, okay. We need one brick, one clay and some iron, okay. Uh, yes, and we need one clay. <laughs> Super accurate. One, two, three, bam! Yeah! Let's cut some stone up. Mm, which of these looks like a uh, fireplace material? I'm gonna go with this one. And bada bing, bada bang, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Ah, beautiful! <laughs> I can't leave this like that, man. It's too ugly. Ah, much worse. What can I say? The best builder in the world has his own style. Hmm, where should I sleep? Next to the inside out windows or next to the Serbian barbecue? Can I actually do this? <laughs> and the white one goes here. Yeah, that looks cozy. Let me put the pillow on. <laughs> nice. I actually have to move all of my shit inside now. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this place is totally usable. Not crammed at all. And I have to move some of my chest here, and we're good to go. Okay, so let me introduce you to my storage area. We have woodish stuff here, we have orish <laughs> stuff here, and we have stonish stuff here. And all the create bullshit is actually here. Well, I'm not going to <laughs> leave the stuff like that. They are eventually going to move into the basement. But for now, I think that this area looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave them here because I don't actually have a basement yet. The only thing that is left to do is the roof. So I'm just going to quickly do it and then we can finally get on with the create stuff. <laughs> okay, so... That's the roofing done, and like every other building that I built, it's fucking horrendous, but it is what it is. Should watch more building tutorials, man. I wonder if Green gives private lessons. You know what? A challenge. <clears throat> At the end of every episode, I'm going to make something about this house better. <laughs> because, honestly, it looks like shit. And I really want to have a thing that I do every episode. So there it goes. At the end of every episode, I'm going to make something about this house better. It might be something little, it might be something big, I might explode the whole house at some point. I don't know, only the future can tell. Okay, now for the fun part, I can actually start doing the quests again. <laughs> okay, let's see, is there something that we missed? We actually did. Okay, so I want more inventory space. Okay, understood. I can actually craft some crude storage units. Yeah, let's see how they're crafted. A barrel, paper, and some planks. Okay, and for those of you that don't know. Root storage units hold like one item, but they can hold up to 248 of that item, the basic root storage unit, and they can be used with create machinery to transfer stuff. You can actually set the side that this block accepts input from, and you can set the side that it out, and you can tell it to do it automatically or not, which means that you can have filters. Okay, so let's make one root storage unit so I can show you how it works. Okay, so this is the block. It has a front side, and when you click it, you have an in and an out. And if you put an item here, it goes to the out slot and it waits there. And as you can see, the item is displayed right here. I can actually lock that so that no other item can actually pass through this block. And the other cool thing that you can do, you can actually set the in and out sides of this block. So if I want the items to go only from the front side, to go in only from the on front side, I click on this and it's blue. That means that the items can actually pass through this side. And if I click auto input, that means that this block can actually input put automatically from any container standing on that side of it. Actually, let me show you this. If I get a chest and put that chest here and put some paper in it, it's going to disappear and it's going to go here because I've configured it so that the front side accepts items. And if I actually get my paper and unlock this container, it's going to get the, the first item that it touches. So now, as you can see, it has glass panes, but it can only accept glass panes. If I put some planks, it can no longer suck the items out of the chest. Unless I put another chest here, I click on it, then I click to configure the output of it, click the right side, orange means output, and then I click out output. As you can see, it 
it has spitted out the items into this chest. So if I put something here, this crystal unit is going to suck it out and then not put it here. Let's put the chest in. As you can see, they are already here. The other useful item is the, <laughs> the Amazon warehouse, is the packages. You must create a package crafter first, which is crafted by, ooh, expensive recipe, okay. Okay, package crafter. And how do I use this? If I put a lock here, a plank here, a pink die, and a copper ingot, and I could create, no. I have a package. Let's test this bad boy out. Okay, so we have um zero. Oh, okay, I can actually put items in. And if I click shift, oh, I put all of my items in. And how do I get them out? Yeah, by punching it. Okay, so in theory, I can break this and it shows me what it has inside. I can go somewhere and put it. And I have these items. Cool! I have use cases for this. I'm going to use it for my farm, actually. Okay, what else? Copper utilities. Copper should keep you safe before the ability to process iron has been discovered. Duh, we discovered it. These also, if you can put your disease, it can bring. Okay. okay. So we can actually craft armor. Okay. We can craft. Ooh, that actually gave me a toolbox. Ooh, that's nice. Because toolboxes are, you know, fairly expensive to craft. And for those of you who don't know what a toolbox is, it's actually for create items. Well, not for create, but you can put create items in it. Actually, your most used create items, like I'm going to put this cock here in these cocks, and I'm going to put my shaft in it, and I'm going to put the casing. And what the toolbox does is, if I go away, for like example here, and I press G on my keyboard, I can actually access the stuff from the toolbox. If I click on this casing, I can come here and put it down. As you can see, I have this red outline on my hotbar there, and that means that I'm in reach of this toolbox. If I go farther away, the red outline goes off. That means that I'm no longer in reach of that toolbox, so that I cannot grab any more items. Oh look, that's a nice illusion. I'm pressing G and nothing happens, as you can see, no toolbox in reach. If I go near again, thing lights up again in red. If I press G, I can access all my items. And if I click this, I can put my items back in the toolbox, which is quite nice for people with messy inventories like myself. And the other cool thing is you can move it around. Like you, you break it with one simple punch and you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it here. Okay, I guess that's it for the main quest line. <laughs> that's a cool quest. And who the heck is Larry? Okay, so we can actually take a look at the side quests here. We've actually completed some amount of this one. I just didn't start it. So let's go and break my <laughs> workbenches. Okay, so this one gives me andesite, this one gives me glass, and this one gives me wood. The other quest I'm looking for is actually the Farmer's Delight quest line because I really do need food. Okay, so we can make a stove, some bricks that I freaking used. <sighs> Couldn't I have seen this quest earlier? Where the heck am I going to find bricks now? And there, nobody could tell that there was a hole there. Okay, we have a stove. This is going to be my entertainment area, so... Let's put my stuff right next to the campfire. Ooh, and it glows. Cool. Okay, so what do I do with this thing? I have unwanted guests again. Where are you, you son of a... Hello there. A bullet in the crotch wouldn't hurt that much, huh? Oh, we have Bad Omen. Wonder if I should pay a visit to those villagers in the village that I started. I haven't seen them for a while, man. I miss them so much. Okay, let's put our pride flag right here. Cool. So cooking, cooking. I was cooking. What should I do with this? Plant the rice and get it yourself some straw. Okay, and how do I plant this? Is it here? Okay. Farm started. Okay, next quest. Let's get cooking. So I need the skillet and a cutting board and whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Fine entertainment. Okay, so how do I make these? Skillet. A brick? That's going to be one heavy frying pan, man. Okay, a brick it is, okay. Cutting board, we actually have a cutting board. And what's this? This actually advancement, okay. Go, <laughs> let's go make the, the world's heaviest frying pan. We have a skillet and let's get the cutting board. Man, let's see, and we get a gula, 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 what the fuck is this? Gula Jabala. <laughs> How is that? I can't even get it. The name is so strange, I can't even acquire it. Do I have inventory space? Yes. Give me my Gula Jabala. What the hell is that? I have to check it out. 
Chapala. Let's see. Chapala mm. uh, people. Africa? Morocco? That's I'm pretty sure you made this food up, man. Ain't seen shit. Okay, and the other thing that it wants is straws, and I think I had some of these. Or did I? Okay, so do I actually have to go and hit the wild rice with a knife, or do I have to bring it here? Or not? You know, I can actually, I can actually use my shears to harvest it and then cut it on the cutting board. Okay, okay, I'm going to try that. But let me first put my skillet here, yes, and put my cutting board here. Let's bone meal this rice because I cannot wait. Okay, so should I should I harvest it with a knife? Or should I just you know hit it with that? So that was a fing lie. What the hell happened? I picked up something. Well did I pick up Am I fucking blind? I pick up sticks. Okay. Okay, let's try again. What should I do? I don't understand. Oh, it wasn't grown yet. Come on, man. I'm such a moron, man. We're not giving up. We're not giving up yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, what do I not need? Saplings, okay. Okay, so now it's mature. Oh, okay. And we have a rice ponco. Put it here. Not the torch. Okay. And then we. Oh, and we've cut it into straws. And we got rice. Golden Ramsey man, ready to lead Hell's Kitchen again. Okay, so now we have straws and we have three more straws. And we can actually make backpacks. Okay. <laughs> The cooking lessons pay off. Okay, so this actually tells me that I can craft a backpack and this backpack has a crafting bench in it. Let's see how we can make one. Okay, these canvases are pretty expensive, man. Um, and these ropes, they're crafted from string, okay. And the sleeping bag is crafted with two wool tarp, okay. And they are made by, by shearing three pieces of wool. Okay, that's doable, I guess. And the last thing is the leather pouch, which actually needs three leather and two strings. So that means that I need three here and three here, six. And uh, this one requires two. That means I need eight. This one does not require anything. Four straws. Each. That means I need 12 straws and eight string, which I currently do not possess. Good job. I guess the backpack is going to be the final goal of the next episode. Okay, this episode was pretty long, so I think I'm going to finish it up by creating a little farm for myself so that they can actually eat stuff. Mm, let's see, where should I start my farm? Okay, I guess right here is nice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fuck it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so I've planted some onions on this side, which are going to allow me to cook some fancy stuff in the future. And on this side, I've planted some carrots. And having carrots is going to allow me to create golden carrots in the future, which, by my <laughs> extensive knowledge of this game, is the item that gives you the most saturation. But that's in vanilla. By having Farmer's Delight installed, we can actually make uh, more saturated foods. We can cook now. Ooh, that's a very beautiful scenery. Let me take a picture of it. Wonder where that thumbnail came up from. Okay, guys, so we had a quite a bit of fun today. We've made ourselves a home. We made ourselves a shack that we didn't actually make. We've created a cooking station and we've created ourselves a nice little farm here. That means we've taken care of the food problem and we've taken <laughs> care of the homeless problem. And for next episode, I actually plan on expanding this farm, making it bigger. See, of course, come and ruin my final speech, man. Ooh, headshot. And as I was saying, I'm going to go and find some more types of seeds and I'm going to expand this farm and I'm going to find some melons so that I can plant 200. And the other thing I'm going to do is actually craft a backpack because my inventory 
is literally unmanageable. And we are going to try and get up to this grout quest, which will actually give us the ability to cast sheets and make better tools. But until then, copper tools and armor will suffice. So until next time, peace.